Hey everyone, it's Nick with Van Up Off-Road. Today I'm joined with Peter from King Shocks here in our Mesa, Arizona location, and he's gonna go over some frequently asked questions about our King Shocks suspension kit. If you have an interest in this kit or you're looking to upgrade your van today, listen up. Hi, this is Peter with King Shocks and I'm here with Van Up to go over the suspension packages that we offer for the Mercedes Sprinter van. Okay, so we have a couple kits for Van Up. First one being the, the standard coilovers, the struts, that include your rear coilover kit. The rear is going to be a 2.5 shock coilover with piggyback reservoirs with short fin reservoirs. And the benefit of that style shock package would be for vans that are pretty heavy in the back. As a benefit in that package, it would help carry weight better and maintain ride height better. Depending on how much weight you got added to the back, it's much easier to swap springs on that style setup as opposed to trying to figure out spring rates for a leaf pack or whatnot. So uh, swapping springs out would be much easier and then you could obviously set your preload to compensate for fine tuning your ride height in the rear. Our fronts are gonna be a 2.5 strut style with a coil spring. The benefit of that obviously is gonna be the ability to adjust your ride height and to adjust preload to help set your ride height depending on weight or if the customer just wants the vehicle to sit a little taller in the front. That's where you would benefit from that. And then it's gonna be a 2.5 shock body with a piggy hose reservoir. So oil capacity is gonna be increased on it. So that'll help keep the shocks running cooler if you're gonna be driving it harder. And it'll maintain optimal operating temps much longer. And then there's also compression adjusters on the reservoirs that allow you to control the softness or firmness of the shocks. So you could kind of dial in your ride depending on your use or the terrain that the vehicle is going to be on. The clevis is made of solid billet aluminum. So that's going to be super strong. It's got a one inch shaft to help handle side loading of the shock better. So it's a pretty robust and stout shock package and the shocks are 100% rebuildable, valvable, tunable. So if you get the shock package and it's too soft or too firm for you and you're, you're not getting enough out of your compression adjusters and you wanna change it, the shocks can be opened up and revalved to suit your particular application, however you want it. So the remote reservoirs or piggyback reservoirs basically what they do is they relocate the internal floating piston from inside the shock to away from the shock. So what that does is it gives you more oil capacity in your shock setup. So the benefit of that is when you have more oil capacity, it helps handle heat much better to maintain optimal performance for a longer period of time if you're driving in extreme conditions or if you're working the shocks really hard that tends to heat up the shocks and the added oil capacity will help keep the shocks running cooler for optimal performance. And then on the other side of the piston is where you're gonna charge it with nitrogen. So if you're not running that setup, you're either gonna be running an emulsion shock, which is where you mix the gases with the oil, which doesn't perform nearly as well, or you're gonna be running an IFP style shock where the piston's located inside the shock cylinder. So that drastically decreases your oil capacity. So obviously less oil capacity, it won't be able to maintain heat as well. So you run the risk of shock fade if you are driving the vehicle harder. As far as uh, servicing of the shock, as far as service intervals go, it depends on your usage for the vehicle. For the average person, we would say probably around 50,000 miles or so, we would recommend servicing the shocks. By servicing the shocks, we, we mean changing out the oil for fresh oil and changing all the seals out in it to help keep the shock performing at optimal quality better. Uh, and if you don't service the shocks, obviously the oil is going to become degraded in quality and then 
your, your shocks won't be performing at optimal performance. So uh, the, usually the lower tier shocks are non-serviceable. They're completely sealed shocks. So basically, as soon as they've lived their lifespan or you break them or you damage them or anything like that, you can't service them or replace the parts in them. So basically you throw them in the trash when they're worn out or if you end up breaking a part on it. So the benefits of a serviceable shock is if it needs to be serviced, obviously you can do that. But if you need parts for the shocks also, uh, the parts with us are readily available. So if you ever, for some reason, you, you break a part on it or whatnot, uh, you could send it to us. We could service the shock for you, replace whatever's broken and send you back a fully rebuilt shock. So testing of shocks, uh, obviously we, we do in-house testing in our R&D facility and then it gets driven in our area. But for off-road miles, we also take it out and we, we run it through rigorous testing out and off-roading too. And to kind of fine tune the valving because every kit that we do that's a direct OEM bolt-on is built specifically for that vehicle. So it's not just one shock fits multiple applications. So the spring rate setup specifically for that particular vehicle, the valving setup particularly for that vehicle, and everything else, the hardware kits and everything else is specifically made for that vehicle. So we obviously tested on-road and off-road, and then with that feedback, we kind of fine-tune the setup for your suspension package to basically put on your vehicle what is the best quality and setup, fine-tuned shock for your vehicle itself. So with our compression adjusters, it's got its own valve stack. So if the compression adjuster is valved lightly, then the amount of adjustments you make won't be as noticeable as opposed to if you valve the compression adjusters really heavily, then each click or each adjustment you make, you'll feel, you'll feel it much more in the shock. And to add on the compression adjustments, people often ask, where should I set my settings? And we often tell them there's no right or wrong way to set your compression adjusters because it's all personal preference or usage. Some people like a soft Cadillac style ride, some people like a more firm sports car type ride. So if you like the softer Cadillac style ride, I would suggest opening up the compression adjusters all the way to softest, drive it, and then fine tune it from there. If it's too soft, then you start turning in the compression adjusters to get a more firm adjustment out of the shocks. And if you're the type of person that likes more firm sports car style ride, and I suggest turning the compression adjusters all the way shut to max firmness and then see how it feels and then start softening it up from there. As far as ride height adjustments go for these, adjustments pretty easy in my opinion on this, especially for the front. You just put the car up on a hoist or you jack up the van and put it on stand so that the suspension hangs freely. And then there's a coil nut underneath the spring itself. We provide you with a coil nut adjustment tool. So you loosen the pinch bolt on the coil nut and then you just make the adjustments from there. Now keep in mind that these aren't made as a lift kit. So out of the box, you'll get about half an inch of lift over stock as it sits. And then you could adjust to about an inch or a little more than an inch over stock height at max adjustments. As far as adjusting the fronts go, that pretty much is gonna be it. And for the rear, same concept, get the vehicle off the ground, and then there's gonna be a preload coil nut on top. Same thing, you're gonna loosen the pinch bolt, and then you're gonna turn the coil nut, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Clockwise to add more preload to get more ride height, counterclockwise to take out preload and get less ride height to get it to sit lower. And then there is a max amount of preload that you shouldn't exceed. And typically that's two inches of spring preload. And then you, if you need questions about that, you could call either King or Van up and we can guide you through that. But typically it's around two inches of spring preload. So the benefit of running the coilover in the rear shock as Van up has their own proprietary rear coilover setup in their suspension package. The benefit of that is if you're running a really heavy load in the back, you now have the ability to one, 
swap out springs for heavier rates, depending on how much spring rate you need. And then you could also fine tune the ride height adjustment with the coil nut. So by swapping out springs, it's gonna be a much easier thing to do than messing with leaf springs, trying to figure out spring rates for leaf springs, swapping out leaf springs, pulling off a coil over shock and swapping out the coil spring is gonna be much easier. And if you have springs available, you could swap out and figure out how much rate you need if you don't know. Most people won't know what their corner weights are, so they could kind of guess. Van Up will have some different spring options available, and then there is also a free spring exchange program to the original purchaser of the shock. So as long as you return the coil springs in new condition, we'll swap out springs for you. You only cover shipping on the springs, but we'll swap out the springs for you at no charge. Okay, there are two misconceptions about these suspension packages. One of them being that it's a lift kit, which it's not. It's a performance suspension package. These vans out of the box, they tend to be top heavy and handle real clumsily and have a lot of body roll in it. And these suspension packages will help control that and make the van much more predictable and handle much better. It eliminates a lot of the body roll and get more response out of the vehicle that when you put input into it as far as steering, driving, and all that type of stuff. It's a more responsive package when you put these shocks on there. And the other misconception is people say, well, I don't off-road, why do I need a package like this? Even if you don't off-road, this suspension package right here vastly improves your on-road handling. There's been a lot of people that have ridden in stock sprinters and ridden in sprinters equipped with these shock packages and they say the improvement is insane. So you need proof. I would recommend driving a van equipped with this package and it, it will basically sell itself. Usually the stock suspension setup on most vehicles including these vans aren't meant to handle the, all the extra added weight to it and that'll further exacerbate how poorly the, the van handles. You'll get a lot of body roll on it. And with this, this suspension package right here, it helps not only handle that extra added weight better, but you also have the ability to adjust your ride height to compensate for that added weight. So if it's sagging, you can bring it back up via either adding preload adjustment to it or if you're maxed out on preload and you still need to get more height depending on how much weight you actually added to it you can also swap out your spring rates to get your ride height back to where you need to be and then on top of that you could also fine tune your valving in the shocks to compensate for that added weight we'd like to give a special thank you to peter for coming down and talking shocks with us today if you have any questions about this kit or you'd like to have this installed on your van, give us a call or shoot us an email at sales at vanupoffroad.com. And as always, if you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe.